Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video where we're playing the 5% game. That's where you follow these instructions with the aim being by the end of the season you're finishing the top 5% globally. So you should do all right in your mini leagues. We start by looking at how the last game week went, game week 6, which was pretty pants for everyone, or at least most people. And then we we'll preview game week 7 and what we need to do. Starting with the six bankers. We have Cancelo scored two, Trent scored one, Jesus scored one, Martinelli scored two, Salah scored three, so they're all red, Haaland scored nine. We had the captain's hat on Salah, so he gets six points. So the range was between one and nine with an average of 3.5. That's a rather disgraceful 21 points for this, these six bankers, which you're all going to have. We should take comfort from the fact that most people did bad this week. So although we had a bad week, we wouldn't have fallen behind too much. The goalkeeper got two points, regardless of which one you had. Defender number one, Trippier got eight. Walker two, Zinchenko one, but Zinchenko's back, so that's good news. And Dunk got one. So the range was between one and eight, with the average being three. Defender number two was between James and Diaz. Another poor showing, average of one and a half there. James got one, Diaz got two. The midfielder, you'll have one of these four good midfielders. They weren't so good this week. Diaz got three, Saka got seven, Foden got two, Kuliseski got one. So the range is one to seven with an average of 3.25. Midfielder number two, Rashford, which is going to completely skew these numbers, got 18. Harrison got one, Gross got five, Aronson two, Neto three. So the range was between one and 18 with an average of 5.8. But of course, you only did well if you had Gross or Rashford, really. So if you had been following my instructions, you would have got at least 27 this week. The average was 36.55. The maximum was 58. What we're aiming for is 60 points a week. But the average globally was 45, so there's still a reasonable chance you did below average. But the team is actually pretty solid. I'm thinking we're probably wildcard in between game week 8 and 9. That gives us two more weeks to decide if we're going to keep Salah. And it gives us a chance to change the Arsenal and Liverpool and Man City players if we want to. So I want to give it two more weeks to see how things go before we do play the wildcard. So transfers for game week seven, if you happen to have Neto, he had a chance of getting a good score this week, but it didn't happen. So swap him for one of these, whichever one you want. There'll be somebody on this list that you can afford. Rashford, Harrison, Gross, Aronson or Wilcock. Within the next two weeks, and it's only two weeks before we wildcard, all of these have a reasonable chance of one or two returns. So we sort out the bench and then the starting 11 is fine. We have Danny Ward on the bench. And then slot number three on the bench would be Archer or Taylor. One and two, this is the same order as last week, I believe, which is if you have Patterson, he's on your bench. Andreas is on your bench. And Williams is on your bench. So if you have Patterson, you'll have Andreas and Patterson on your bench. If you have Williams, you'll have Williams and Andreas on your bench. Captain... There's the old mule hat. It's between Salah and Haaland, of course. Haaland. Haaland. I think we still put it on Salah, even though he's been incredibly disappointing and Haaland's been very, very good. Salah's at home to Wolves. Liverpool. Although they're not playing great, they've still got some very good players. Maybe Salah's going to get something. So that means Haaland gets the wee mule bonnet. Although it's probably been a very bad week for us in the fancy football, I still think we're going to be fine. Let me know how you're getting on in the comments regarding this. If you've got any questions about your team in general, you're not playing this game, but you want me to answer questions, I'm happy to give you my opinion on your teams. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.